Hi, I'm Manu. Hi, I'm Steen. And today we're talking about, about the big picture in the new technologies. So Steen, everybody's talking about these new technologies, but I think that we don't know really well which is the big picture. Can you explain us what is it about? I'll try. Okay. So, Stin, what did you write here? What does it mean? I think the easiest way to understand what's going on is mm -hmm. to divide our technologies into two different kinds. Um, the physical technologies and the social technologies. Mm -hmm. And the physical technologies are rapidly moving away, they're developing away from our social technologies. The physical technologies, the modern ones today are the internet, the big data, the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, machine learning, synthetic biology, artificial life, nanotechnology, personalized me medicine. Uh, these are technologies that have been uh, developed in, in recent years, and they have properties that that cannot be dealt with in our social technologies. I see. Our social technologies, they were uh, they're much older. Many of them, they are back from uh, from the industrial era. Uh, the kind of governance we have. Uh, most uh, states, uh, they wrote their, their constitution in the 1800s. Uh, we have uh, institutions, we have laws, mm -hmm. we have education, That's and we have social norms. And all of these old um, and, and very well tried uh, social technologies, they don't fit, they do not grasp what these new technologies are all about. And that creates, uh, a, a, there is a growing gap here. Yes, but you know what? While you're explaining this, I can see clearly a parallel between the industrial era and this internet revolution, is that right? Yes, I think that is right. I think the best way to think about what's going on today is to think about how uh, we, back in the 18th century, most countries in the world, in the Western world anyways, we went from being uh, farmers to move into an industrial society and it completely changed how our social technologies were organized because, and it was driven by the new physical technologies like the steam engine, uh, the convoyable, the factories, mass production, later on by trains and, uh, and uh, vehicles. I see. So the social technologies in the 20th century, they didn't understand either what was going on. That's right. That's okay. why. They have to. They have to be changed, and this is what we have to do. We have to update our social technologies so that they fit with the new physical reality. This is going to be a huge effort to do that, and uh, so that means that there are huge challenges and also wonderful opportunities. So, which are those challenges and opportunities? Well, we can talk about those in the next video. Okay. So this is the big picture, and the next one we're talking about the opportunities and the challenges. Hope you like it.